Now we're going to talk about the direction of the power transfer. If you see the both gear arrangement, they are just mirror opposite to each other. Now the direction of power depends on the um, driver and follower gears. If my green is the driver and my load is attached on the red one, so that will be the follower, then my power transfer will be from green to blue, blue to red gear. And the same gears, if I put the red as a driver and put my load on the follower, then the power transfer direction completely changes. So now the power transfer direction would be from the red to blue and blue to green. So the power transfer direction depends which one is the driver, which one is the follower. And it follows from driver to follower. Now we will learn how to determine the teeth or diameter ratio. The teeth ratio is the ratio of the teeth on the driver over teeth on the follower. It is also the same if you take the ratio of the diameter of the driver over the diameter of the follower because the number of teeth on a gear depends on the number of the diameter and since between a melting gear the teeth size are same so the ratio will be the same. Now to calculate the teeth ratio we have to remember that we have to first find the power transformation transfer direction to determine the teeth ratio because if you know the driver and follower then you can find the teeth ratio. Let's give a name of our green, blue and red gear like A, B and C. Assuming A is the driver and red is the follower, then the power is transferring from left to the right, from green to blue, blue to red. If we count the teeth of each gear, assume that on the green gear you have 42 teeth and on the blue one you have 28 teeth and gear C has 14 teeth. So the, the teeth ratio from A to C would be the multiplication of A to B and B to C. So from A to B, the teeth on A, the driver, is 42 and the teeth on B is 28. Again, teeth on B would be again 28 and teeth on C will be 14. So teeth on B and teeth on B will cancel out so the final ratio would be on teeth on A and C so 42 over 14 just 3 so the teeth ratio for this simple gear train arrangement is 3 did you notice that the middle or the idle gear blue one has no effect on the overall ratio for example if you if we didn't consider this this multiplication if we just take the first one and the last one take the ratio it would we would have get the same result three this is only valid for simple gear train where the middle gears are idle gears and the idle gears idler gears have no effect on the overall teeth ratio